Rookie mini camp wrapped up um, earlier uh, last weekend, actually. What, what were your biggest takeaways um, from the rookie mini camp? Yeah, I think the first one was that the Zadarius Smith trade, rightfully so, <laughs> overshadowed anything that happened with the rookies. Like, but I think that just kind of goes to show for me, I was really clamoring for them to get a true second starter at Ed Dredger. And I think Obo Okoronkwo has a ton of untapped potential, but I just think knowing he's only started like eight games or whatever it is in his career, his first career starts came towards the end of the season last year with Houston. So I really like that they went out and got another 10 sack caliber kind of guy when he's healthy. Um, so that was like the biggest takeaway from me for me was that, hey, we didn't talk so much about the rookies because the biggest acquisition was actually this trade they did. Um, the second thing for me was that Cedric Tillman passed the eye test. And I, I wrote this multiple times, like rookie mini camp. I think there's only so much you can take away. Guys aren't in pads. There's no contact. I think one of the biggest things we have is the eye test. And I think like a negative eye test can be more impactful than a positive one. So I wanted to highlight like, hey, I think he had a really positive weekend. You know, he had really good media availability with us. He wasn't dropping a ton of passes, which for a receiver, unfortunately, if they do that during their rookie mini camp weekend, that's something that can stick with them. You know, that happened to Anthony Schwartz a couple of years ago. And that first reputation, I think, really matters and also he just looked big like we walked away from rookie minicamp in 2022 saying man like we may not have known a ton about martin emerson or watched him a ton but he just looks like an nfl player like you saw his size and how he was able to use that even then i think the same thing with cedric just on the other side of the ball so that was my number two takeaway and number three was just kind of getting this very, you know, diluted look at Jim Schwartz's defense. I thought when we were out there, you could tell that explosiveness for those front guys, for those defensive linemen was really emphasized. Everyone was so excited to talk about his scheme. So I think for me, those were the biggest takeaways. But again, can't stress it enough. Zadarius Smith was rightfully the story of the weekend. And the way Jim Schwartz likes to use his defensive linemen, he's going to have guys coming in and out. It keeps them fresher, keeps them more explosive. And the other thing it should do is it minimizes the chance of, of getting banged up, nicked up, and injured because you, as you get fatigued, you're more likely – TV does not do justice to how much the offensive and defensive lines physically beat on each other in an – I mean, it is frightening on the sidelines at an NFL game how physical the line of scrimmage is. Yeah, and that's something even Isaiah McGuire talked about with us this past weekend. And look, like he's not going to be a guy who's going to be a starter for the Browns. I don't think like a lot of stuff would have to happen for Isaiah McGuire to be starting. But he even said like, look, I get what it was like, you know, at Missouri, we had a, an attack minded defense that was different, but those main principles are the same. And he said they rotated guys in and out and that it helps a lot when you can get fresh legs. And I think especially Miles Garrett, the last few years has had nagging injuries. Like, I, you know, last year he was dealing with a car accident. But even the year before that, he got a groin injury late in the season. I believe he suffered against the Raiders, and he was basically playing on one leg when they played the Packers on Christmas Day. He struggled down the stretch of that season. I think it's really important to kind of keep rotating those guys. I think it's something Jim Schwartz will do. I think he'll try different lineups, maybe lining up some guys inside. Zadarius Smith can be a pretty good interior edge rusher, like – I wouldn't be surprised to see him with Obo Okoronkwo and Miles Garrett on the ends and Zadarius moving inside when, when they actually take the field. So there's a lot of unique stuff I think they can do. And I think like, I like that they're throwing a lot of bodies at this right now when guys with different skill sets to try to get it done. 